Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing the video that went viral, that got me on Forbes.com online, featured in a national, highly respected magazine. This article is what made my parents realize like, oh, okay, she's, she's doing okay. Her deciding to do YouTube is actually paying off now. So I thought I would share with you guys um, the five bags, one scarf video. A lot of you guys are probably coming from my TikTok. I know this is a video that has been long awaited. The next video will be five tops one scarf if you guys want to see that make sure you like this video and share this with anybody who needs this scarf bag i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys my tiktok video and then we'll jump into the ways how to turn one scarf into five different bags number one is the satchel take your scarf and fold it in half diagonally and swing it around your arm to create that long satchel like look and then just take the opposite sides and create a little knot and this creates a little shoulder bag number two is the row style even bag you're going to create a knot on all four ends like this and then tie two ends together this creates a little bit of interest and fashion element to a medium-sized bag number three is the beach tote fold your scarf in half together and then combine those two ties and it creates a shoulder strap for you to put all your beach towels in and your sunscreen perfect for the beach number four is an evening clutch bag with a long shoulder strap you're going to create two knots on opposite ends tie a small knot at the top this style's great for small items like lipstick, card wallet, mask, and then just secure it at the top with a knot. Number five, you're going to fold your scarf in half diagonally, create a knot at the top and pull through, then attach the free ends to both sides. And then with all four ends, meet at the top with a knot and this creates a secured shoulder bag. So a few things to note about the scarf. My scarf is 35 inches by 35 inches. Um, I got this size. There are bigger and smaller sizes, but you do want to make sure that it's kind of a square shape that really helps to make sure that it's even. Another thing is that um, when you do tie these just keep in mind and you start stuffing your bag with it keep in mind it will stretch this the little threads that are in there so you know don't use your most expensive Hermes scarf or something like that for a video like this I personally just got a scarf off of Amazon for this reason and I actually use this bag all the time mine particularly is like a satin silk faux silk material um, that really helps to just when you tie it's not super slippery um, but I will again I'll leave links to the the Amazon seller or the Amazon link that I got this scarf but for the first style it's the beach tote is what I call it um, it's super duper easy and all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the two ends of either side of your scarf it doesn't matter because it's a square but you're gonna take either end and you're just gonna bring it together kind of hot dog or hamburger style like you're folding a piece of paper in half and then you're gonna tie a little knot when you're tying this knot don't do anything like super huge you know we're not doing anything crazy but it's just a little knot at the ends tie it super tight to make sure that your bag is secure rather than pulling the tops of the bunny ears pull the actual handles that will be the bag so this part of the scarf is what you're going to tug at and if it if it unravels like that that means you didn't tie it tight enough and keep in mind you know with these styles this is just kind of a quick fix it's not for like an everyday bag you know these are obviously not going to keep up with you but this is just if you're at a grocery store and you quickly need a bag or you're at a beach and you don't want to carry everything you want to carry it just in one little thing this is a great option so all right so we went ahead and we created one knot on one end you're gonna grab the two free ends on the opposite side and as you can see I've, I've got mine folded in half so just do the exact same thing on this side this is like the most easiest level one um version of the scarf bag so um this is a great option super duper easy and what it should look like after you're done is a folded in half square just like how you fold a piece of paper it should look exactly just folded in half like this and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both of the knots at either end and kind of open them with your fingers like i'm doing here just open them and gather them together and you've got yourself a shoulder bag like this is the beach tote it's a big big tote you can fit tons and tons of stuff in here i'm just gonna throw in some clothes for example you have dirty laundry throw it in here and there you go and then you're just gonna stick your hand 
through the bag. This isn't a very safe option, so don't put your passport or any valuables in a bag like this. This is a great bag to take to the pool, to the beach, throw in a beach towel, throw in some sunscreen, and you're good to go. That's what this bag is. Let's move on to bag number two. So with bag number two, we're getting a little bit more complicated, a little bit more complex, but still um, not as difficult as some of the other ones that I'm gonna be showing you. And wow, I tied this knot so tight. We tried carrying my dog in here and it and it held, held up fine. And he's like 15 pounds. So, you know, that says something. You have your full square scarf. And you're gonna take one corner, so whether that's right corner, left corner, it doesn't matter. But you're gonna take one corner of the bag, cross your arm over and create a diagonal kind of triangle shape. You're going to create a knot at the end, okay? So you're gonna, again, fold diagonally down and create a knot. You go ahead and make your little bunny ears just a small little knot, nothing too big. And this is gonna be your handle. This style you want to wear on your arm first before you tie up the bag and then you're going to grab the other two loose ends you're going to thread one side through into the handle so you're going to thread one side through into the handle and then you're going to tie a little knot at the end with the free side i would say this is like a shoulder bag um that's what i call it, it it's it's uh it holds a lot of stuff this is a super easy option when you're using a bag like this i i say leave the knot in place and when you need to reach into your bag to get anything just take your hand and thread it through one of the diagonal sides that for the handle that we made. Otherwise, I would take a seat and open up the bag, but make sure you hold up one side. This holds up really well, and I know I'm going so in detail, but a lot of people in my comments were like, oh, this is gonna fall apart, or oh, this is like, you know, I would never use this or this or that or whatever. So. I just want to make sure I'm covering all my bases. But for the third bag, I was really inspired by the row scarf bag, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but it's like the row style bag. You have your four ends and we're going to create a knot on all four ends. So super duper easy. You're going to kind of pull it through, see how far you want it. Um, the, the further down you go, the smaller the opening of the actual bag will be. Does that make sense? If you make a short knot or like you leave the handle really short, this is gonna be your handle. So keep in mind if all of them are this big, the inside of the bag will be really roomy and you'll have a lot of space, but the handle will be super small. Whereas if you make this a lot longer, then you'll have a bigger handle, but smaller inside bag. So. Just keep that in mind. I like to do just kind of like an even, maybe like a six inch. I leave like about six inches. Is that is that like six inches or something? Um, normally, it's the shiny side that's the outside. Um, so if if that if you like the inside or the outside, doesn't really matter. But just keep that in mind when you are uh, doing these bags that there is the inside and outside. I actually went on the Tamron Hall show uh, for this style. I was featured on TV, which is really kind of cool, actually. Uh, I haven't actually seen the segment yet, but I think it is live. And if I can find it, I will go ahead and leave a link to it below. And uh, you could take either side, whichever side speaks to you. It doesn't really matter. With your four uh, bunny ears, create two knots on either end. It doesn't matter whichever side you want it to be front, um, whatever side you want to be back, doesn't matter. But this is now your handle. You know, obviously it doesn't look as cute when you have stuff in it because it kind of gets um, kind of kind of uh, like dangly, I guess. I don't know what word to use. Is that the best word? It's like dangly. To the next bag is a evening clutch bag. So I, I stayed up like for two hours just trying out all these different knot techniques, different styles, and that's why I'm saying if you're more crafty than I am, I know that there's tons of other ways to do this, but um, I was just staying up all night and then I was like, wait, this evening clutch option looks really cute and I would totally wear this to like a dinner by the beach type of night, right, on vacation. I would totally wear something like this. So um, what you're gonna do is same thing as the row style bag, but we're not doing knots on all four ends. We're doing knots on two ends, which are gonna be diagonal to each other. So take one corner, it doesn't matter again, but just keep in mind shiny side versus inside. 
and then you're gonna make it kind of long. So I normally measure it from my shoulder to my hip. You're gonna ho hold it in place and create a knot. So kind of mark it with your other hand or whatever. Create kind of like a big bulky knot. I think the bigger the, the better, like the bigger it kind of looks more fashionable in my opinion, but it doesn't really matter. And then, so as you can see, we created one knot, right? These sides are gonna be really short. So that's gonna be the closure for the evening clutch. And then grab the opposite end and just flip it and then do the exact same thing, kind of measure the length onto your body and see however long you wanna make it. Doesn't really matter, again, you can make it shorter, longer, and it'll change the proportions of the inside of the bag. Um, so you're gonna grab the two handles, create a little knot bunny ears, loop loop up at the top like this. Here we go. And then you've got your long shoulder strap. This is just the long shoulder strap. Um, and then this little guy in here is going to be your evening clutch. So you can go ahead and throw in, you know, a hair clip, a lipstick, whatever you need. And it's it actually is really roomy, you know, if you do want more space. But if you don't and you wanna keep it super duper small and kind of cute looking, take either end of the shorter sides that you did not use, the free ends, they should be kind of open like this once you did this, if you did this correctly, and just create a little knot, uh, you know, one time through and then another time through if you want that extra sense of security. So um, yeah, I really like this option. I think it's one of my favorites. I feel like I say that about all of the styles, but it is one of my favorites. Um, and then for the final style, I had a lot of friends who really appreciated this one because let's say you are on vacation and you decide you wanna use this style for you know traveling or sightseeing or whatever you wanna use it for. I don't recommend it, but if you do and you want to, because this doesn't have a zipper or anything like that, it's not the most secure, right? Um, but this style should be the most secure. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and make that triangle shape again. So from your square, make a triangle. You're kind of going taco style folded and you're making a little taco. So all corners should be in your hands right now. We've got both of the free handle ends and the point of the triangle, the taco, the top of the taco uh, point, right? So you have all, all of your ends in your hands. With the center, the middle pieces or the top of the taco or top of the triangle, whatever you want to call it, the diagonal portion, I'm personally going to let go of the free handles that are going to be our handles. But with your taco, you're going to create... Uh, one single knot, okay, like that. You're gonna pull, grab and pull, and then by this point, if you've grabbed it this far, you should be able to meet this end of, uh, one end of your corner, and then the other free end of your corner, which creates a knot center, right? So we just created a knot in the middle. You're gonna take all four ends in both hands and tie a bigger knot it will be a little bit thicker, of course, because um, you have, you're tying four pieces of material rather than two. Go ahead and pull, make sure it's tight, pull, but it is more secure. So you literally cannot go in there unless you kind of weaved your hand through the, the side handles and you kind of dragged underneath and pulled. But at that point, you would definitely feel someone in your bag. So I feel like in the fall, this is gonna look really great too. If you got a few scarves in like a jade color, maybe a burgundy or an emerald green, and you start using the scarf, I think it's a great transitional piece to the fall. With fashion, my, my view on fashion is that you really don't need to spend a lot of money. And I know that's so cliche, and I know that tons of you guys have probably heard that, but it's really true. You don't need tons of money to be innovative and to try to re rework your wardrobe um, to be more functional for you. So if you have a scarf like this and you haven't used it or you want to get one but you don't want to buy from Amazon, then thrift. Thrifting is a great option. They have tons of scarves like this on uh, online on Depop or any kind of like secondhand um, app online or just going to a Salvation or a Goodwill nearby and you could totally make this super easy. So 
those are all the those are all the styles I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you did with a thumbs up um, if you want the tops video uh, I'll, I'll leave the TikTok down below but if you guys want it make sure to give this video a like and I will definitely do that but I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching I will leave my Forbes uh, feature down below so you guys could read it as well um, and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye